And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, boy, it's good to be back. Live, new, brand new. Crackle, crackle, campers. It is The Bonfire. We are back. I'm your host, Big J Okerson. That's your host, Dan Soder. Yeah. What's up, buddy? We're Radio Life Mates. Radio Life Mates. I like that. That's what it is. It's just what it is. Our voices combined. I love these episodes when we come back and, like, Fired up. We haven't really seen each other. No, complete isolation. Of, whole bunch of stories to tell each other. You spent some time with an, with your old grandma. Oh, it's just getting some sage advice from the greatest generation. I spent a few hours with, uh, we went out to, I had two uh, road gigs since we were gone. I had Providence Comedy Connection, which was amazing. Great. Packed houses. Uh, Great club. Love. Yeah, Corey and Dave, awesome owners, and they, uh, they were really the, the, the the bonfire fans, the campers, camper were out. turn out strong in Providence. Strong it was when I was there, and it's great to see. It's and then, uh, to see. and then I went to Edmonton comic strip in Edmonton. Yeah, bud. West Edmonton Mall, where you are headed soon. Uh, next month, bud. Next month, bud. Eh? Oh and, uh, yeah, gonna that, go around your Canadian mall and buy stuff, bud. That was also awesome. Edmonton, Canada, so I'm telling you. Yeah, I love that club. Embrace being single, buddy. Oh really? Embrace being single. The women are. Unbelievable up there in Edmonton. That's oh where my they. God, it's weird, but yes, I mean, yeah, that's how it is in Vancouver too. Heavy to... ass, heavy ass town. I'm a tit guy. All white people, but hev and tit, heavy oh. ass and tit town. Heavy ass and tit. It's an oil town. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that has anything to do with it. They but they're thick oil bodies. They're thick oil asses from eating such fine meats, bought by oil money. All dating riggers. That's yeah. what all the guys were riggers. He's gone. Uh, that almost took a turn too. I was like, all right, Jesus, Jay. And do you really? Like, do no, you really think no. that little of me? No, I don't. That's what I do. I just, you know what's funny though? Jay got crazy racist over the break. <laughs> we came back and it's just almost like I can't be in the same room. Yet. I'm sorry that the <laughs> chief trade up there is rigging, and that sounds you know a lot like a word that upsets people. Jay changed his nickname to Aryan Jay. <laughs> yeah, in all today's pictures, you're going to be like, look, I'm wearing a Biggie Small shirt. So I, clearly, like, I don't. I don't have the I'm, problems. I'm the good one. <laughs> yeah, no, they're. Uh, that's what that last time I was up there. They're like, yeah, it's like. Like big oil money, and they're like, watch out, because some of the hecklers are just like these drunk oil dudes. Oh, yeah. And I was like, all right, that's fun. And then a wow. guy heckled me, and you forget how polite yeah. just in general Canadian people are. So he's like, hey, shut up. And you're like, what'd you say? He's like, sorry. <laughs> like, Real big coke town. Really? Yeah. I um, like it. We're just unfurling it. I'm going to get no one to come to my show. I'm like, also, no, I heard. I, I'm just, that's, look, it's their business. I'm just saying. it's a pretty Jacob, big... go see if that's Bruno Mars. Jacob, go ask that guy if he's Bruno Mars. Yeah. Jacob! Jacob, go ask him if it's Bruno Mars. No, ask him if they're Menudo. Oh, go ask if that's... Um, oh, damn it. I was going to say Dean Kane. From... Ask him if they're Menudo. Jacob, go ask if they're Menudo. <laughs> Which incarnation of Menudo they are. Jacob, ask him if they're Menudo 2016. This is, always makes for a great story when he comes back. Oh, dude, if he, he has to come back and go... They're not. <laughs> they're not menudo. First off, someone's eating cheese in that hallway. <laughs> Number two, that's somebody not let out a house cat, <laughs> and I heard it, and I folded my bones, and I just went into the wall, and now I'm back out, and that wasn't menudo. Oh my god, guys, there's a there's a big cat. <laughs> I love that. I always love the thought of the idea that Jacob's punishment is us buying a bodega cat to keep in here. It'd be funny if Liquid Todd just released a, a cat in the hallways for Jacob. <laughs> hey, Jacob, he's holding it by the back of the neck. Uh, here he comes. He's always dejected. Oh, <laughs> uh, you didn't get shanked, so we already won. <laughs> Tell us the great news, Jacob. They're not Menudo, but they got shuffled into a room, so I'm sorry. Oh, uh, that's okay. Uh, do you find out who they are? I didn't. They get... No, I didn't. Are they I'm Los... Sorry, I'm pretty sure they're not Menudo. Are they Los Lobos Jr.? Ah, oh, good call. <laughs> Los Lobos Jr.? Los Los Lobos. I am Santana's son. I'm, uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm Chad Santana. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing, uh, I'm a crooner. Would you like to come on our show? No, never. No, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I... I have to speak to my age. <laughs> my gotta go. I'm plugging an album. <laughs> no, the... Uh, well, thank you for going out in the hallway, Jacob. What I'm here for. We got to get you some sort of treat that we can feed you when you come back. <laughs> out of Christine's hand. The ball of yarn. my favorite thing to do. Yeah. The nip. 
<laughs> we got two fans. We got you some nip. We got two fans in the audience. Yeah, we're in the studio, hanging out. Mm-hmm. Justin and Sarah. Justin and Sarah, oh, aka Ice Road Truckers, aka the bank robbing kids. No, thank you though. He's gonna give Jacob a snack. <laughs> I give it to Jacob. Jacob's like that was pure mescaline. <laughs> Aren't they the youngest truckers you've ever seen? Yeah, when I, I was expecting, you got to understand, when he said we had two truckers coming, I was expecting, like, you know, a burly dude with a Tasmanian devil tattoo on his forearm. His 40s? Yeah, just like, uh, actually, oh, please tell me you have a Tasmanian devil tattoo on your forearm. Oh, dude, how great would that be? Oh, uh, okay, but you are tatted up. And then, uh, yeah, they're like young kids. Yeah. They're like, they look like cast members of the movie Kids. Yeah, I think they're like 20. Yo, do I smell my fingers? It smells like butterscotch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and I think that if we fuck, it will be great. <laughs> it's like Casper. That's not the main kid. The main kid in Kids, he sounds like he he's was just... in Bowie, too. But that's yeah. what he goes, I think that if we fuck, it will be great. I think we will love it. <laughs> <laughs> it should be here for Halloween next year. You oh. smell, smell my fingers. You just gotta plug up the back of your nostrils. Yeah, because that's all uh, he does. Uh, <laughs> bring up, Christine, can you find a clip of kids? Because the kid does sound like he's just got a. When he's talking to Rosario Dawson, trying to convince her to fuck, because he tries to go, I just think if we fuck, it would be great. I do a lover. I can't uh, breathe through my nose. <laughs> uh, have also, a very serious sinus problem. Also, if you have the really Afro, <laughs> I would love to use that as well. So It's a miracle drug. It's going to kill me eventually. But, but you were on the road. Uh, yeah. Providence and Edmonton. And Edmonton. Edmonton. I was in Kirkland, Washington. Hey. Rainy Kirkland. Very Seattle's butthole. Very fun time. Was it a fun time? Yeah, I got to see a lot of family, friends. Crowds were good. Crowds were a lot of fun. A lot of campers. A couple, some campers came out. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm sorry. I was holding that. Oh, Lordy. I've, uh, yeah, and then really I hung with my grandma. I went to rehab. Didn't jerk off or smoke weed for fucking six days. And you upheld it. Yeah, dude. I never break. You didn't jerk off at all. I've came dangerously close in the past. I've never broke. Did, uh, after a couple of days not jerking off, don't you like wake up with wood? Do you have to like yeah. protect yourself from all the, all the things we've talked about? Like yep. you can't, you have to wear underwear. It's very binding underwear. With your, uh, with your basketball shorts or your basketball shorts oh. going to knock your dick around. You can't. You guess get what a I boner. did? And guess what get, I did first night? When you get a nice thick hang. Yeah. It, that's nothing makes me want to jerk off more. Than a real thick hang. When you're feeling good. Yeah. I would get out of the shower and just immediately put on underwear like I'm ashamed of my genitals. <laughs> it's wet. Too. Yeah, it was just, totally wet. Yeah. And then I'd just walk around for six days and then I got home and, uh, yeah, then I, is that it? Okay, that's from. No, it's fine. Hit all the way to the right. That kid. The one to the right. That's him. That you got to click the whole video. Though. I knew you fucked it, man. I sat here for like two hours and shit. Was- Not him. We'll post this. By the way, we're going to post this at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter and on... Uh, Whenever we find the actual clip. Yeah, I think this is the, this is the trailer. But I think kid, that if we fall, it will be awesome. <laughs> I hate allergy season. I'm um, usually a much better kid when I'm not all stopped up. What the hell were we just saying? We're talking about oh, I, was, I stayed with my grandma I didn't jerk off. Oh, yeah, you didn't jerk off, but... uh. You didn't come dangerously close this time. No, this time was actually the easiest. It made me a little afraid I'm getting too old. Oh, what I was going to say. I know Maybe I, I gonna... lost the fire and the blood. I know. I was talking about your underwear. What I was going to say is uh, we should say, we should talk. Jacob, Tommy John, get Tommy him on John. the horn. Because, get him on. Would you because, get him? Because Dan bought him, and that was, uh, that was the straw that broke the camel's back for me, and I have now ordered four pair of Tommy John underwear that are coming in the, that are coming, be <sighs> to my house. So I can't wait for the next episode where you're That's a real endorsement. Out. That's a real endorsement. I don't got them on right now. I got my Hanes on because I saved Tommy John for the weekend. I want my, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I saved my body on my Under Armors for that. Yeah, I don't. But I want to have my nuts in that Tommy John basket. Just really. I'll tell you this. Showcasing them. Across the country flight, San Francisco to New York, Tommy John boxer briefs didn't have to move them once. Really? Just stayed perfect. It just cups perfectly. Yeah. It's great. Do you have to go down and like beef up a little? No, you know, sometimes. Or push on the sides. You know, sometimes dicks? where you have to like put your finger down on the top of your sack skin and then pull it out. Out, yes, like, I do. It like, pops out from your thighs. I do know exactly what you mean. Yeah, none of that. I have to, these Hanes, I'm doing that all day. I'm walking around looking at myself just. And if I'm getting warm sitting like that, the, the nuts are loose, and I really got to, you almost got to pull. It's like. All the way up. Oh, like you're trying to pull like old. A hood. You're trying to pull old gum off of concrete. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're like, here it goes, here it goes, just let it go naturally. <laughs> yeah, Don't put an ice it. cube on it. <laughs> Toughen it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Tommy John just harnesses it. 
Perfectly. Yeah. And it separates try. it from the bonch, so you're not all your taint's not all banged up. What's it called? Oh, that's that's it. That's perfect. That's the clip. Let's see. That's it. I know it's not. It doesn't, matter. It doesn't matter. He says it to every girl in the movie. He's he gets around in the movie. I don't know if you've seen the movie, but he gets around a little bit. We're talking, of course, about the Larry Kids. the Larry Clark film Kids. Larry Clark hates youth. All his movies are about like Gum- he just keeps pushing the envelope. The last uh, Ken Park movie had like full penetration, sex in it and shit. Jizz shots. Here I, we go. I was a teenager and watching them kiss like this. I was like, I was like twelve. I was like, oh man, that's how you kiss. It's gonna be so great when I do it. Oh my lord, this is some dialogue, guys. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. <laughs> You're right. We'll put the clip on at the bonfire. That's hilarious that his legs are over hers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. It's a weird stance. He looks like she's. He looks like he's riding her. Yeah, here he goes. You know what I want to do? Yeah. What do I want to do? Get, you blow want your nose? To... <laughs> you can't me. Why not? You know why. Because you're a virgin? Because I don't want a baby. Because I don't want to have a head cold tomorrow. I don't want a baby. And you know, with me, you don't have to worry about that kind of shit. Why is that? Because I like you. I think you're beautiful. I think if we fucked, you would love it. <laughs> uh, I don't believe it. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I feel like if I bought a humidifier, <laughs> I could sleep better at night. <laughs> I'm going to go in the bathroom and rub this vapor rub off my chest. <laughs> Don't kiss my chest. <laughs> oh, you're going to get very sick. <laughs> it's going to numb up your lips. <laughs> I just a heads up. Don't try to kiss <laughs> my chest. If you if you lay your head on my chest, it's going to open up you. <laughs> it's going to open you up. It's like Tiger Balm. <laughs> It's like it's like putting your head over a thing of steaming vinegar. <laughs> it's going to open you up. <laughs> it's going to open you up so big. Yeah, we're going to start doing those, those live movies. Oh, I mean, they are kids. They look like they're like fucking... No, you well, can't sue them for false advertising. Yeah. The movie's called Kids. Nailed it. <laughs> what childhood? <laughs> oh, Corey. He's right. Um... That movie's good though. That that was a uh, I hate to say the most whack offable part of that movie though is the when he bangs a girl when she's asleep. What? <laughs> what? I was with you. I was like, oh Rosario Dawson, it's gonna be a Rosario Dawson scene. No, because the only real nudity in the movie is that scene. Yeah, but she's asleep. Right, but you're I was thirteen. Okay. He was giving her AIDS at the time. Yeah. Well, we don't no, know. No, that. no, 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 no. She was giving him AIDS at the time. Oh. Lou, don't be such a feminist, you oh. homo. Guys, <laughs> guys, we don't need this rift right now. <laughs> not right now. Lou, don't you cross me this early in the show. I do not need to see this. Do not attack Lou Dog. <laughs> Lou? Lou? Lou, stand down. You're coming at me all sideways. That's why I got to agree with Jay and just say the most whack off part is when the girl is sleeping. I will just say that it is... Yeah, how about when he just takes her clothes off while she's sleeping? All That's right. okay. How I about, mean, she was a real whore bag. She would have fucked him anyway. You didn't even let me say what my what I thought the most jerk offable scene was. Sorry. It was when they beat that dude with the skateboards. I like <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, yeah, hate crime. A hate crime is jerk offable. I just go way worse. <laughs> You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> my poor just I killed that black kid. And they're like, jeez, I have no legs. <laughs> that part of it I did. I remember everyone in my middle school saying that. Or oh. not everybody, just the pieces of shit that watch kids. I was on Percocets watching it, this kid Ryan Hoffman's basement. That's when I watched kids, and I just got cheated on in eighth grade. That's ex- the summer in between. <laughs> you got the cheated on? Yeah, I got... My eighth grade ex- cheated on is the best kind of cheating on. It doesn't matter at it's all. It's a fingering. <laughs> oh, really? That's a big deal. A dude fingered your chick. Two guys. Oh! One of them was a fat kid. What a bag. Right up. Real. Yeah, dude. Really? Dude, I had long hair. Oh, man, I was riding my mongoose. Couldn't do any tricks. Wow. <laughs> you couldn't do any tricks, but you could spin your bars around. Oh, they would just twist. While I'm sitting there smoking cigs, absolutely. All day, Hell yeah. Did you have pegs? Uh, no, nah, Trish wouldn't give me pegs. Trish wouldn't get you pegs. No. Nah. <sighs> I bought the bike myself. Come on. I financed that fucking... That was from working at the bagel store. And you... 
You couldn't get pegs? How much did pegs cost? I don't know. Maybe I didn't want pegs. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm a lone wolf. I could tell taking by, my mongoose from I could tell suburb by your, division to suburb division. I could tell by your bumbling words that you didn't mean that. You wanted those pegs in the worst way. So bad. Way. And I wanted front pegs. You don't think I wanted front pegs, too? Oh, yeah, in case you had to clean the cube or something. Mike McDaniel had front pegs. He had front and back pegs. He had a GT. With well, I bet he got all the sniz in that town. I bet his girl was getting finger blasted by a fat kid. She's the one that told me that my girlfriend was. Oh. Uh, Man. That was the worst. So she got fingered by two guys separately. Yeah. 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 One was a fat kid. Yeah, he's just like a big kid. That kid was all personality, though, then, huh? Yeah, he had a lot of personality. Took some from the... Uh, he, yeah. he was in choir, and he was like also really good at football. <laughs> it was w- really weird. In choir? You guys throwing knuckleballs at me. I don't know how to compete with that. I'm just funny. I was just a sarcastic kid. <laughs> Wait, was it? Was he like in the choir? Like when, uh, like Lean on Me when they made the b- bad kids be in choir? No, 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 no. He like joined it actively. He sought it out and joined it. He was also really good at football. I told you I had to go to some like weird singing thing back in high school for like kids who were getting in like trouble, like in like, fights and like stuff. Like sister act? It was sort of like yeah. It was like it was like, it was like not wayward kids. It was just like kids when you got in trouble in school, they'd make you go sit like a music teacher. You better go feel. And then the we had the performance, and, the, and then some like real thuggy black kid. I remember just had the voice of an angel, and he came out and just hit the he hit the final stanza of the rose by Bette Midler, and it was really? like the voice of an angel. And everyone was weeping, and they're like, yeah. And he had like cornrows, the whole shit. I think he was wearing his clothes backwards, like crisscross, like Saquon. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. He's it like, really is. Yeah, you know what else is beautiful? Me taking out Morky ass Buster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me clapping on a motherfucker if he come at me funny. Come see about me. I hit different octaves. If he comes sideways. <laughs> Every rose. Yeah, I um I'm looking at his calls. I know we haven't had calls in so long. Oh, he said his grandmother. I can't read it though. We'll fix this. It's fine, Merc Face. We got this. In the winter, oh. the winter snow. The snow lies the sea. Is it becomes the rose? It's Midler, dude. BM. You see, Bette Midler got into a whole bunch of shit with Kim Kardashian. They got into a big fight. Yeah, because Kim Kardashian put herself up naked, and Bette Midler was like, hey, don't be naked. No, it was actually way funnier. Okay. She said, like, uh, she goes, if you want us to see something we haven't seen before, she goes, if you want to put up a picture of your body or a part of your body we haven't seen before, you have to swallow a camera. That's a great joke. That's a fantastic joke. That's a really funny line. Did someone write that for her? Bet Midler? Yeah, bet. I got a good one for you. <laughs> yes, what if you tweet out? She knows a lot of Jewish writers, yeah. though. Larry, <laughs> what are you working with? This Kim Kardashian puts herself out there. Every day, there's a new picture of him. I'd say, if you want to see a part of it you haven't seen, you have to swallow a camera. All right, seriously, though, I have to go get an up endoscopy. <laughs> I have a lot of acid reflux. Agabagoosh. Agabagoosh. <laughs> um... Yeah, and it was a pretty funny joke, and then, and then all of a sudden, they said a bunch of people started coming out, like... In solidarity of Kim Kardashian. She's taking, brave. Like, taking, like, pictures of... She's a mother. She's brave. J- uh, Jacob, did you jack off to the Kim Kardashian pictures? No, I'm not into her at all. At you all? didn't jack off to the Ray J video even? I don't know what it is. I didn't see it. You the Ray J video? Kim Kardashian? No, no, I know her. I didn't see the what you're talking about. Now, have you ever seen the Ray J video? No. You've never seen the Kim Kardashian Ray J video? I have Jacob. Not. Look you at me in the either? face. I haven't. Tell me you, haven't seen, you haven't looked at it. What, celebra- haven't. what celebrity porn have you watched? I, I've seen the Tommy Lee, Pamela Anderson one. Okay, but that, so is everybody. Why? I didn't know. I wasn't. You what just about asked. The, what, about the Vin, what about Vince Neil, Janine Linden? You? I've seen that one. Okay. Oh, yes, look who's waking up. That now. made me feel good because he's completely out of shape, as you brought up. Mm-hmm. It's true. How yeah. about, um, do you watch Tom Sizemore bang a bunch of weirdos? No. <laughs> that's not that, real. What a great name. Yeah. What a great I name of a video that. that should be. Tom Sizemore bangs weird shit. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's but it should be called Tom Sizemore bangs a bunch of weirdos. Oh, yeah, it should be called that. Uh, that is the working title. What about, I saw um, the <clears throat> Paris Hilton one. You saw A Night in Paris? Did you yeah. see the China one from WWE? No. Now, China has two with X-Pac and then comes back and they have one called Backdoor to China where she does a professional porn, takes it in the shitter. The same girl that was a wrestling hero to people. 
Yeah, well, I don't really know how many people were. Takes in the dumper. I don't think there were people were, like, she was there. She hero. was my hero. She was. She was I went, three years in a row, I would ask her for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine you watching the fucking Attitude Era, and you're like, more China. Yeah. Why is she I not want, getting more involved? I want to see her wrestle a man. But, uh, yeah, she takes it right in the dumper. And I'll tell you what, even though she's, like, not hot and weird looking now and everything that she is and it's all, she, yeah. all messed up, it's still exciting to see someone because it's China getting it in the shitter. It's really exciting. There's something great about it. Um, I'm trying what, to... what other celebrity porns were there? What? There's ones that, that that people don't care about. Who? Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Did you see the Hulk Hogan Yeah, but that's, no, not, see that one. that's not a graphic porn tape. The girl from Teen Mom. That's graphic. I've seen I mean, that. she squirts. Fair, Fair Abraham. Yeah. The, she, uh, she squirts. I've seen that. that actually, that was the only celebrity tape where I was like, well, it's not really a celebrity. She's not a celebrity at all. It's just like a James Dean porn scene. Yeah, there was a girl from Survivor that made one that was The Hogan one was depressing. Yeah, it was. I can't watch that. He's like, I'm a big fat pig. I've been farting all day. It's my son. <laughs> uh, hold on, it's my boy. You going to start this party or am I? Hey, what's up? You going to go out there and murder another boy? Okay. <laughs> Drive fast, kill Marines. It's the Hogan way. <laughs> God had a plan for him. I'm going to go back to banging my buddy's wife. Hold on. You remember Bubba's wife? Well, she's right here. She wants to say hi. She was odd looking. You cut it. Oh, you know what that is? Of course I know what that is. Got that? Like, no notes. How great would it be if he entered court with this song? They're like, oh. ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Door kicks open. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm coming for you, brother's girlfriend. Well, well, let me tell you something, people versus Terry J. Bolia. Say your prayers, take your vitamins, and pay your legal fees. Double bag it. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure they're not recording without consent. <laughs> Ruin my life. Yeah, what's he in court for now? It's like the tape for releasing the tape. I think he's suing. Yeah, I heard, I heard you know, I heard there's clips of him where he sounds like a doof. I haven't heard them, though. Mm-hmm. He keeps saying that he's really sounding like an idiot. I wonder if Andre the Giant visited him as a ghost. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, it's me, the ghost of Andre the Giant. He shouldn't mow another man's lawn. <laughs> it's your fault for having sex with another man's wife. <laughs> Sorry, Andre. They just wanted me to do it, brother. <laughs> they just wanted me to do it in their bed, brother. In the ultimate heel turn, brother. <laughs> I just tell you, you should not go after a woman. Let me tell you something, Giant. You don't understand what I'm going through out there every day. She looks at my package and I can see her, brother. She just wants it in her. Every day, my wife looks more and more like me. <laughs> yeah, dude, that that was like, oh, man, I'm still bummed out about Hulk Hogan. I mean, obviously, you know, Ric Flair and Macho Man Randy Savage, the two greatest wrestlers of all time. Hell yeah. But Hulk Ke Hogan changed my life. Kevin in Kentucky wants to see Brooke Hogan do a porn. Uh, nah. I, you know what? Nah. Kevin, I guess, tell you, buddy, it's, I don't know. Like, I get it. She's hot in some weird way, but that whole family have real big faces. <laughs> they look like Nintendo Wii characters. Yeah, their faces are Pretty so big. big. Hey, I could get past that though. I could really get past that because she's got some big tits. So you know. Well, there you go. Kevin. You know, and she has fake titties too. That's not offensive. A family's on the road to being fucked up if, like, the kids get breast implants as teenagers, as presents from their parents. Yeah. Guess like, what? Like the, we got you a set of D's. They're gonna throw in a hymen renewal while you're at it. Oh man, you're gonna get the same surgery Houston had after she did the <laughs> Houston 500. Hey, let me tell you something, though. <laughs> I'm what? paying for your boobs. I'm paying for your labiaplasty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hogan, I don't know if it's a good idea for you to be putting your little girl in such revealing bikinis. <laughs> yeah, kind of making me feel weird. Lay off her, Randy. I wish I could just feed you things to say in that voice. As Macho Man? Take her pussy lips and put them in ember. Yeah, what we're gonna do is, yeah, gonna take out those tits and make them rise back up to the top. Yeah. Saddlebags no more. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, should we take? We gotta take a break. Do we? Yeah. I hate breaks. I like talking to you. I like talking to you. Let's just embrace, Kevin. Yeah. Even, even though it's never gonna happen, you could always jerk off to me and Dan talking about her father and Godfather Macho Man discussing her doing porn. Done. Just jerk off to the audio. 
I guess I'm going to have to do. Uh-huh. It's going to have to do for now, my friend. Thanks for calling. Everyone, it's the bonfire. Hey, what's up? It's Sean Donnelly, and you're listening to The Bonfire with Big J Ogerson and Dan Soder. I think Big J is cuddly, and I love Dan Soder's gravelly voice. Let this, let this roll, Lou. This song's so good. My fair party goes, Girl, you got an ass like a devil. See? You know how bad that would suck, like, in the late 80s? If you were just, like, in love with a girl and she left you, and then she, Prince was just fucking railing her, and you're like, oh, God. There's no way I could compete with that. I wear members only. You know, this song's so sexy, I, I, I want to hear this story. We have Nikki in Wisconsin. Nikki? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. This story better be good because it's getting the backdrop of Prince's sexy hit, Little Red Corvette, which I believe is a Bye. loose... A loose uh, metaphor for a clitoris. Oh. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm going to try and kind of switch gears on you guys just a little bit. I'm going to bring you back to, I think, probably your last show. Um, I think Jay uh, had just gotten over being sick, and you guys were talking about some epic shit stories. Oh, yeah. And um, Brute. I have... I have kind of a epic shit story I wanted to share with you because I don't think I've ever had a more embarrassing yet funny story to tell, and I think it's kind of unique. So. Her, vo- her voice is so cute to say I have an epic shit story. <laughs> if you really think about it, I didn't know that I was going to have such a bloody runny shit leaking out of my bowl. <laughs> and then my stomach, my tummy got to rumbling. It's the like, point of, it was just shotgun blast of mud all over the wall. It's like the devil put beef stew in my butthole and shot it out with one of those uh, rockets that breaks the sound barrier. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm blowing my mud gun all over the room. I'm walking around with a red sock like a damn elephant made out of butthole. It's coming out of both ends. It looks like rancid sewer water falling out of an old faucet in a burned-down asylum. <laughs> um, oh, God. No, sorry. I wish it was that clean and clear-cut. But um, <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, like, shit. It's worse than that, Holmes. <laughs> just, thank God we're on uncensored radio. <laughs> I just imagine her lighting a GPC in the corner of her mouth. She's like, I wish. <laughs> Buckle up. That's fellas. a nice made for TV movie version. <laughs> Let me tell you the so, real name. Go ahead, Nikki, lay it on us. Okay, so I'll have to drop, set the scene. So it's like 1999, I think it was. I was wearing. Clinton's in office. Everyone's got cash in their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing. It was in the summertime. It was probably June or July. And uh, I was uh, in Chicago. I was living in Chicago at the time. and They said that it was a uh, very hot summer that year in northern Chicago. <laughs> they, said the, they said the heat was coming right off the lake. Oh, boy, I was laying links out that oh, day. Yeah. Nikki, how old were you so, at this time? I was about twenty twenty one. So I was like in my hot stage. I had a little cut off shirt underneath my overalls. Overalls? So you I'm, Did you have I'm one overall? Did you have one flap down? Not on this particular day. You were dressed but, like a uh, you were dre- if you put a flannel shirt around your waist also you'd have been dressed like a fly girl from In Living Color. In Living Color. Do what you want. Do. <laughs> Keep in mind, it was a hot summer day, though, right? So yeah, I'm you're wearing you're the one wearing and, pants. <laughs> well, it wasn't that hot. Okay, seriously. So this is the thing. So I, I'm I'm like feeling my stomach start to rumble. Oh my gosh, shit! I'm like okay, I've got about 20 minutes. I'm gonna I should be able to make it home in, in enough time. Well, all of a sudden there's an accident, and we get stopped, and I'm in gridlock traffic. Is it on the loop? Oh my god. Because traffic on no, the loop the gets sub- hard. I was in the suburbs. I was oh. in the suburbs. Okay. Rosemont, like, oh, where were you? Um, I was in <clears throat> Oak Brook. Okay, good. Yeah, I got a cousin lives over there. Good guy. <laughs> Anyways, so you're lacked in traffic. He works you got... at a brewery. Hey, yeah. No, I'm in traffic, and my stomach starts appearing, and I'm like, oh, shit. <clears throat> so I'm like, okay. I'm like, I can do this. And then, and then this traffic stopped. And I'm like, oh, crap. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm going to, I just passed the fart. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just fart a little bit. Oh. And then I start to feel the true light come out. Oh. And I'm like, there's no fucking way. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I, I can't just let a little out. So I I lay a log in my pants. Yeah. Well, wait, did you do one log and then stop? stop? 
I, I couldn't. I was. I. I. Um, I am. I unleashed the gates. I unlocked the gates. So, like, all oh, crap. So, I'm stopped at this point. So I've got my foot on the brake. So I start, you know, I obviously have to lift myself up oh, so that Jesus. I don't completely shit, like get the shit smeared all over. Ugh. But there comes a point where we have to start going again. So I'm like, <laughs> I mean, moving. The car has to start moving again. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, you're going to get real I comfortable guess. with a warmth you've never felt before. Oh. <laughs> Just a footprint in mud. <laughs> oh. I'm in a 1985 oh. Ford Mustang with no air conditioning. Oh. So I got my windows down. You got down. bucket oh seats? <laughs> You're just no. sitting in it? I'm like sitting in it. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, can this traffic key start moving again? So we finally start moving. Now, I live in an apartment on the second floor. Oh, that's a lot of and stairs. I'm just like, oh shit. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm like, I've got. I've got a shit ton in my in my freaking overalls. I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do? I finally get that's, up that's, there. That's great. I got a shit ton of my freaking overalls. <laughs> like, what the hell am I gonna do? I'm like, I can't just like ditch. I didn't have anything to change in. Gary, so meet I me outside with do... some sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, stat. Oh I need God, you to thanks. meet me in the parking lot. I got a big problem. Thank God my roommate wasn't home. But Jesus Christ, you talk about trying to not gag and puke when you're trying to clean up all that. And I'm like, I don't want to drop a log as I'm walking into my apartment building. My Wait, were you I still going? This- were you done? Were you done mm-hmm. going? Or I, was this like... I, I was done because it took me about, like I said, 25 minutes and a half an hour to get home. Oh, you just had to so, sit in that for 30 minutes. I know. It was the worst possible thing I've ever had. And I swear to God, I would have, I would, I would have never told the story. But when you guys were talking about your shit stories uh two weeks ago i was like man i got a call and and i did and unfortunately you guys didn't take calls that day because my annoyance was in studio but i was like i i bet you they've never heard such a grotesque shit story from a girl before not even sort of nikki could you do us a favor is it possible could you send a cute email to the bonfire oh god at sirius xm not a picture you shitting just uh if you could send a picture do you have a picture (laughs) of yourself from that time in life i want to put a face yeah and like, I, bo- I, like body to. I could, probably, I could probably do that, and I'll definitely see Dan in May at the uh, comedy on state. But yeah, bring your shit her. with you, but preferably in your body. You. <laughs> but my husband, I've never even told my husband this story. So, um, oh, and he's at home boy. with the son. So, don't say anything about the shit story. I'm like right, Nikki, yeah. and there's her husband, the man who loves a woman with a loose butthole. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> up top. I just imagine her stuck in traffic uh, with shit in her pants, and then a, like a guy sees her and thinks she's cute, and he's like, "Hey!" Like smiling at her, and he's like, "Is that some chick in his stink face?" Fuck yeah, Eminem's first album's playing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the real. Yeah, hi, my name is. Just- <laughs> It was the craziest thing, and I I told my friend at the time, my best friend, we're still friends now, and she's like, oh, my God. I mean, and they were my favorite overalls. And I well, what did you do with them? Yeah, you threw them away? Did you burn them? Oh, oh, like yeah, a Viking no funeral? Oh, those suckers. All right. There was no saving those guys. Oh, oh I get it. They were the best, but they were in my gas pair, too, so I was just a little bit pissed off about that. But. Well, Nikki, thank you very much for calling up and admitting uh, such a horrific tale of... Yeah, oh, please God. God. It, was, it was great. It was crazy, but I'll see if I can dig up a picture for you, Jay. I, I don't know. Those are those are going to be in the archives, but um, I'll see if I can send one to you. Yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, what a crazy story. I bet she's hot. It, it, was, it was not, it was not uh, one of my best moments, I'm telling you. But were you wearing full coverage underwear or were you wearing a thong? It was a thong. Oh. A but splitter. You had a was. splitter. In. <laughs> You're like a like a forked tongue coming out of your butthole. Yeah, if I were the poop detective on this case and I showed up, I'd be like, yeah, she had a thong, pretty tight. A log splitter. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's coming out it like a mill. What it did is, uh, basically, this effect is how I could equate it to layman's terms is when you put your thumb over a faucet <laughs> or a hose. I was just happy it was a solid. I was just happy it was a solid and not. You know, that would be great. Oh, be able, that thong, really, it was like a table saw. Just, yeah. <laughs> just drop perfect. <laughs> just two logs dropping. 
Like when you split open a hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a, like a pickle spear. <laughs> <laughs> you want it in hands or quarters? <laughs> Swing. <laughs> I never wanted it to have been in commando more than that day in my wow, life. I but bet. commando was just not an option with overalls, dude. That's some bad chasing there. So. God damn. Yeah. That's well, hot. Well, thanks. And well, we'll, and thanks, Nikki. And I'll see you in May. Happy shitting. Okay. Okay, bye. But at least, you know, I think if we take it out of this, it should, it should be appreciate firm dumps. Wait, why can't Nikki come see me in Minneapolis? People from Wisconsin come out there. I don't know. I don't know geography of the Great Lakes region. I think region. they're not far from each other. All right. Is that true? You're the trucker? That is true. That is? Did you just whistle your ass? Oh, you have no teeth? Dude, I don't have any teeth. <laughs> no, you, you have teeth. Zilch. Are you going to explain it to them? Or are you just going to... Come over here on the mic. <laughs> Wait, first off, how old are you? I'm 23 years old, and, and no, I have no teeth. Yeah, why don't you have teeth? Uh, the first of the month, actually, I had them all pulled. Why you did you? Him why they were rotted out to he the point a, where that wasn't a that wasn't yeah. a, that wasn't the song first of the month by Bonazar. it's the first of the month so get your teeth because they rotted out <laughs> <laughs> now get to the dentist and get your teeth taken out it's the first of the month so get up get up get up get those nasty teeth out your face and I miss my uncle Charles y'all <laughs> you're missing songs that's I know, crossroads I know yeah she's missing her front upper from a car accident yeah wow Jesus. Do you guys just eat popsicles together? <laughs> a lot of pasta. A lot of pasta. <laughs> you guys just sit home and suck potato chips? <laughs> she got, uh, chew on this one. It's crunchy. She, she does the heavy chewing for him. Yeah, she has She has the rest of her teeth. She has to feel like a baby bird. Yeah. They're locked in this relationship out of necessity. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, quick, I need you to chew this so I can swallow it. Uh -huh. So are you going to get... New teeth? Yeah, it's it's gonna cost me a little bit of money to go and get dentures, but you're gonna get dentures. Yeah. Why were your teeth rotted out? Uh, I have a hereditary dentin deficiency. Oh. Boy. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. So I my great grandfather had all his teeth gone by the time he was seventeen. My mom lost hers at like twenty four. Yeah, it's a family problem. What a shitty hereditary thing to Dude, get. Dude, my family sucks. I've been saying it for years. Yeah, well, I mean, when they, all your teeth your are gone. Your family's blood is half uh, meth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter what. Turns out a great-great-uncle did a lot of meth. <laughs> so now it's in our bloodline for Kinda a long splintered time. splintered in. Dude, so you, when did you start, when did your teeth start rotting out? Um, about three years ago, they really started getting bad, and... Was it painful? Yeah, last month I bit into an ice, most depressing story, I bit into an ice cream sandwich and I snapped a tooth <gasps> in half. Was it a good humor? Uh, it's just, it's no, it okay you got a, a public forum now to really yeah. smash down whoever's made that goddamn hard ass ice cream is sandwich. Is it Hagen dazs Is it those krauts? No, no. It was a truck stop in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's, those two fruits. Ah, those Vermont liberal hippie bitches. Twirling around. It was, it was a cheap Just one. fucking it each was, other's assholes at a Grateful a Dead one. and Friends concert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I just um, <laughs> So, I wonder if there's anything we can do to help him get new teeth. <laughs> if there's anyone out there listening who can help our friend get some... He has good news. He's a trucker, so he's all over the country. He's a good-looking kid. Him and his girlfriend are two, like, cute and truck if you, drivers. And if you help him out, if you help him out, too, throw in two front teeth for... Yeah, what's a little extra girlfriend. off the top, huh? Let what's all she wants for Christmas? Wouldn't it be ironic to finally actually give someone for Christmas <laughs> their two front teeth? All I want for Christmas is my... I'd be done by December this time. Wait, come to the microphone. We can't hear you. Oh. Yeah. It's weird as I will just say as a couple, it is weird that both of you have adorable speech impediments because of your Thanks. lack of teeth. Appreciate it. Appreciate no, they that, told man. me if I went through with all of my surgeries and got my implants, I would have my teeth by Christmas. By Christmas? This year. Yay. It happened December of last year. Okay. Totaled, and how did you and how did you lose your teeth? I totaled my car. You told your I car. I told my car. Where, I was, and where were where were you living? I was. I and was, then a pure anger, she bit the dashboard. <laughs> she people. got out. She's like, she's. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, I was living back home in Rochester. Okay. Um, I went to go stay with my mom because she broke her uh, ankle and she needed me to come stay with her and help her and drive her to work. And um, I moved out of her house and got a car and I had a. Was a '95 Geo Prism. Nice. All right. No. <laughs> well, when you wreck them, you wreck them good. Right. 
And I was coming home from the grocery store, and this lady jumped a light, and I just, I hit her, and my airbag took my teeth out. And I, Your airbag did yeah, it? Yeah, it was, oh, it was not okay. That. Oh, we would totally we... sue Geo Prism if it still existed. Yeah, if they, right. if, they, if they weren't the cars of just Central America now. The cars all of them. <laughs> they only export them to South and Central America. Did this accident happen in the Congo? <laughs> Were you running from a warlord? <laughs> Were you teaching a chimp uh, sign language with a robot voice? That's a Congo reference, you know. So wait, so your your airbag took out your teeth? Yeah. And hereditary disease took out your teeth. We gotta get these guys' teeth, Jay. <laughs> How do we do it? I want to. I don't know. I wish I could. Well, she's got her things. Her things on schedule, though. She's well, getting hers. Yeah, I'm just procrastinating really hard. <laughs> One for Christmas, Christmas is my two fried teeth. teeth. My two fried teeth. And all of my teeth, my please. Teeth. <laughs> you see the whistle? That's, he's got the whistle. What's the whistle caused by? It's, I can't click my tongue on my teeth when you talk. You Holy do that. Shit. So I sound like Herbert. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hi, strong arm. Got it's me. your fetish over here. That's great. <laughs> You're real life Herbert. You're like a young Herbert. You're the prequel. <laughs> hey, strong arm. Got any oh. good news? Ice cream. Yeah. You guys, tr you guys trucking around, you hop in the back of the cab and just gum each other's genitals for a couple of hours. Come on, get me. Nam 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 nam. Get me like a fish that's at the lower sea levels. <laughs> really give my clit a gummer. Yum 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 yum. Uh, at the uh, the bonfire at SiriusXM.com. Well, I want to say you work, if you work with teeth and can can help these. Call two. in. God, we need your help. Call in. We need your help in the worst way. And, uh... Advice. Rob in Iowa. Well, this is just advice, but yeah, go ahead, Rob. Hey, R Rob, there's really... How's it going, Big J? Love the show, man. Thanks, brother. See, Big J likes you. I can go fuck myself. He loves you, too, dude. No, he said Big J. I got it. I know Rob's... I know which side of the fence Rob's on. We got it. But I'm going to do this guy a favor. I'm a trucker, too. And can you, can, I, had, can you hear him? I, had, I had some teeth left. But go to Mexico. The cheapest price I got in the U.S. of A, 18 grand to get my teeth fixed. 18 and grand to get your teeth fixed? And you said go down to Mexico? I live in Phoenix, Arizona, so I haven't looked on the Internet, but I, I've been telling my friends, fly down here, stay with me, do what you got to do, stay in Yuma, and just go across the border. But you got to be careful. The first guy I went to down there had like a 1950s drill. Fuck. He, had, he, he was taking my... My old teeth out. He put nails in my face. I had nail teeth. <laughs> the teeth were made of soap. The whole thing was a scam. <laughs> Shattered first thing I've been into. Just melted every time I drank water. <laughs> they gave me my temporaries, but when they put the teeth in, they must have just been a generic set of caps and crowns, and they looked so big and huge, and I was whistling like this guy was. Did you did you look like Bugs Bunny when he puts in the fake teeth, and they're all just giant and white? <laughs> Whistle while you drive. That was, that was cracked. The rest was just, you know, they, they just hurt a lot, basically. But I found a guy that was more catering to Americans after I looked around a little bit down there, and even with removing the first set, and getting a whole other set put in that I'm happy with now. Listen, I'm talking normal. Yeah. Um, five grand. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, just got to get that passport. Maybe stay in Yuma for a few days. I mean, I don't recommend the old style dentures where you got to glue them in, put them in a glass. You can go down there and get implants and snap them in and out. Thank you for right. me, doctor. Yeah. You don't want to get no denture. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Rob. Thanks for calling in, man. Hey, let me tell you one more thing, Jay. Yeah. The best time yeah, was when I took 300 bucks down there, and it was the wrong day for my appointment. Uh, this was in, uh, Anna, I, I can't remember the name of the town, but it's I went into this bar called The Green Door and had the best day of my life. I walked out of the, across, back across the border, ship face, white powder all over my nose, hard on pump Viagra. <laughs> That was the best time. So enjoy yourself. Cool. I'll check it out. Yeah, it was, it was cool, man. Do coke, cool. have a boner, be drunk. Does, no, some, does somebody take care of your boner? Border. They, oh, I, I had two girls over there. And the funny thing was they both had tramp stamps. One said Manuel and the other was Pedro. 
I said, well, who are those? Your husbands? Yeah, they got killed by the cartel, so now they work in uh, the Green Door, which is the name of the place. Wait, that's our oh, orthodontist man. name. Yeah, man. Very cool. Very yeah, man. cool, Rob. Thank you, brother. Uh, Thanks for calling, man. All right, thanks. Have a good one, man. Yeah, I, I won't. Just Jay will. I'll, I'll have a shitty one. I got a guy. Here's how you find him. You shoot a flare in the middle of the night. Now, the contact man will come somewhere out of the brush. He's going to give you your pick of teeth. You get to choose between coyote, antelope, and dead human. He only answers to Tijuana Bill. <laughs> you must be Rob's friend. How you doing? Oh, should we take another break? Because when we come back, I think, do we have another girl with a shit story? Because I want to hear it. And... Before now, I just emailed this over to the Bonfire SXM um, or the Bonfire at SiriusXM dot com. I just emailed this because I was in contact on social media okay. with our uh, in studio guests, and they are couples. I said, and they were such fans of the game we played that we kind of had that impromptu game, if you recall, back when we were accepting filthy pictures. Before yeah. the fans turned on us hardcore. They didn't turn on us. I just, I, I, you know, we just, we became better people. That's the way I look at it. Sure. People got mad at us. Um, but th- what people did enjoy a lot was when that one girl sent us in a video. <laughs> yeah, we guessed the video. The of her getting drilled. And you can hear in the background, we heard there was a movie or a TV show happening, and we played that big game, and guess what it is? Now, what they proposed was, and I think this is a, a very clever idea, is they will send us, they said, audio of them fucking okay. with a movie in the background. Do you, and you know the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're paying attention. If you can name the movie, they'll give the video. Okay. W- if Not we, to a it, caller. Let me, I should specify that. They're not just sending it out to whoever, willy-nilly. Oh, yeah. No, no, that's... that's we can see the video <laughs> if... If we guess the video. But, if we guess but the it's, up to, it's up to the world to be our wingman. And see if they can guess the the. I, I think we can accept this challenge. My question is: Do we? If we lose, do we buy them teeth? <laughs> <laughs> What's the catch? Dennis if we when we get a video, if not, we buy them teeth. We got to take all that sleep. I'll chip money. in. I'll chip in and get them five thousand dollar Mexico teeth. Yeah, I'll go down there and I'll be their contact. I'll be their point man. They're just made of clay. You have yeah. Adobe teeth. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear his Spanish. It's quite nice. Is it? You want to need it? If we're Spanish. Yeah, you can't roll that. You can't roll that R with no teeth. Oh, look at that! Oh, wow, he's spicy, and it's just flicking stuff off his gums. <laughs> just right at Andy. Yeah, and his throat is so lube because he's been drinking liquids only for the past two weeks. Yeah, he's been on a broken jaw diet. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if we should talk about Christine's official announcement. Let's. Oh, we lost our shit story from the girl. When there's we get no, back, another girl. No, she's gone. But um. No, let's make this announcement now before we go to... Uh, no, you know what? Because we'll take some calls on this. We'll, we'll we'll talk about Christine when we come back. Okay, and then I'll plug... Uh, if you go to the Bonfire SXM on Twitter and on Instagram, there's a link for Michelle Wolf and I's new... Uh, web series. Yeah, web series on ComedyCentral.com called Used People that we so filmed, cool. filmed a couple months ago. Uh, Nick DiPaolo, Chris DiStefano, Bridget Everett, Nick Vatterot. Anthony Amatuk, there's just so many great people. That Jay Okerson was given a copy. He was given a cop, a link to be sent. Hey, don't do that, bud. Don't be sad, buddy. I just think about you and all my projects. No, you don't, but it's okay. Everyone. Where was Lucky Loser? I wasn't around for that one. I need someone. I'm lonely. <laughs> you want to be on Lucky Loser? I wanted to be on it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you motherfucker. It's also uh, at Dan Soder on Twitter. I have it as my pinned tweet if you want to go check out that web series. So Yeah, three episodes, five three minutes episodes. a piece. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. Just three quick episodes. So go check that out. And we'll be right back on The Bonfire. We'll be right back to The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey campers, did you oversleep because the bed was too comfortable? Had you been too busy and needed to recoup with sleep? How did you feel when you woke up? Did you know getting quality sleep is as important to a healthy lifestyle as a balanced diet and regular exercise? I need to work on all three of those things. Yeah? All three. I got that good sleep going now. Oh no, the sleep is there. Now the diet's getting there and the exercise is jumping back in. Yeah. Well... New Sleep Number research shows people with Sleep Number beds who use Sleep IQ technology experience improved sleep quality and more restful time in bed. Ooh. 
My sleep number setting, you know it. Do you know mine? 75. 75. I know yours, buddy. What is it? 55. Yeah, I dropped it down to 50, though. I'm starting to live a new life. The sleep number bed lets me choose my ideal firmness and change it. That is what's cool. You can. Like, Christine's bounced around a little bit. Can I tell you what I do? Because I'm a single guy, and you can control each side of the bed. You make one firm, one soft? Oh, yeah. Oh, I go yeah. a nice 80, 55. I start on the 80, roll into it. Like I'm it's rolling like you're in, off a cliff. Like I'm rolling into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Sploosh. <laughs> well, the optional Sleep IQ technology tracks your sleep so you know how to adjust for your best night's sleep. My sleep number setting still yet to be determined. Yeah, we're we gonna do, to that. do it. We're gonna do that. I'm doing week. it this week. You know what it is? I've been on the road nonstop. Yeah, we, so you're working gonna, so hard. That's true, and, uh, and we're gonna figure that all out. But I'm telling you, I know it's gonna say like, that I'm all kind of. It's gonna be like stop smoking, which I don't think it's even is programmed to say. But you can shape the best sleep of your life with the Sleep Number mattress and Sleep IQ technology, starting at only one thousand ninety nine dollars ninety eight cents. No better sleep with Sleep Number. Find your Sleep Number setting today at a Sleep Number store. Find one near you by going to sleepnumber.com and be sure to tell them the bonfire sent ya. And then you just start sleeping better. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Best part of the song, Darling Nikki by Prince on Prince Monday. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Mm-hmm. Our email is thebonfire at SiriusXM.com. Can I, uh... In the studio, we have uh, two fans. We have two awesome fans. Justin, Justin and Sarah. Sarah. Justin has no teeth. Sarah doesn't have two front teeth. They came on a... They came on a... She has no, she's missing three front teeth. Uh, she's correcting you right now. Three. I apologize. She can't say because you need front teeth to pronounce three. Um, <laughs> ah, fuck it. Three. It's two. Um, you guys came on a good day, a fun day, because this is a, this is a fun announcement we have here. Officially. Start clapping, man. Officially Andy. on the payroll. Start clapping, Jacob. New member of the bonfire, official on the bonfire. I mean, she's been a staple member since the get-go. Always. In fact, if I would say the brainchild of this entire show. Yeah. Uh, the person, we used to, she the, did suggest that we try doing a radio show. She was the suggestion, and now she's getting that paper. Getting that paper. She's got a Comedy look. Central officially on staff of the bonfire. Bring it out, Jacob. Christine Evans. Oh. Jacob. Magnolia. Got you some stuff. Jacob, what did you get? Bunch of stuff. What'd you get, though? A whole bunch. Her, uh, cupcakes. Yeah. Assortment of cupcakes and uh, uh, cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake. Cheesecake from pie, Jacob. Cheesecake. Jacob, amazing. I'll be honest with you. After you open this up, do not leave this room or we are going to trash all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you stay here and make eye contact. You stay the here. Time. You make sure we can't make fun of any of this stuff. Christine, Frosting, an official but, member. Frosting, but no icing. Right. Christine is <laughs> and now officially on the, pay, on, the, on the payroll, on the employee sheet. She's working. Your title is something, I don't know. Like coordinator. A coordinator, social media person. She's having meetings weekly with the, with the crew and, uh, and Comedy Central. She's... Uh, yeah. I'm very proud of her. I know we are. I know Soder's been fighting for that for a long time, too. So it's, it's, very it's happy. happening. It's happening. So We're she's very a, happy. officially a member. And I know most of us are happy here. Lou, not a fan. Lou, uh, <laughs> I, don't know if you, I don't know if you know, Lou did not clap. I just, with sound <laughs> no, effects, no, no, I did no. clap. No, I got it. No, I got it, Lou. We got it. Oh, we got it, buddy. <laughs> no, we got it, dude. Not reading into it. Lou's, no, Lou's cool. always hated Christine from the yeah. gag. Just start new rifts. Look, Look at, at these. these cupcakes. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Jacob. Jake. I'm so excited yeah. to be officially working with you guys. Obviously, there's no other show I'd rather be able to put time and effort into. I love you both. Yeah, because uh, Opie and Jimmy seven. sucks dick. <laughs> Howard Stern's hey. a hunk of shit. <laughs> Fucking Ron Bennington can blow it out his ass. Oh. Jay. Jay, they like you so much. No, though. no, no. I was speaking as Christine. <laughs> oh, you're doing Christine. Yeah, I forgot you I forgot you can you do a great Christine impression. And I'm not a waitress, which is the most exciting part Yay. of all of it. Hey, <laughs> Christine. You're not a waitress for now. <laughs> for Let's now. see how this works out. Guys, I don't know what you want. I'm just gonna do you want me just to hold it? What is that? Look at this. This is so nice. Cupcakes and that's cheesecake. 
And that's Ooh. cheesecake. I yeah, can't wait for cheesecake. cheesecake and key lime. Well, you know we're going to have to get some sort of a bite of that. Yeah, we're going to have to take bites of this. Our guests are going to have to take bites. You we're know the watch, beautiful thing that We're going to have to watch Andy eat without his hands because that's a challenge. You know the thing I love about this whole thing is what? that now I think I have the ability to fire Christine, possibly. <laughs> I think you guys also get to do some pretty sweet role play. <laughs> <laughs> Might just be me, but when there's payroll involved, there is always good role playing. Going. We just fuck over a pile of checks from uh, Infinity Broad. Well, not Infinity Broadcasting. From uh, uh, what's it, Viacom. Uh, Viacom. Yeah. I just got off the phone with them. You're gonna need to get in my office right now. <laughs> but your pants are gone. Exactly. Exactly. Do we have the audio clip? Let's see if it came through. I'm telling you, the last half hour of the show, at least, is going to be dedicated to the story I'm going to tell you, Soder. And you're going to love it. Taking a bite of this, whatever this is. Cheesecake. Oh. It didn't come through still? Mm -mm. What the fuck? We're Send still... it to Gmail. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Guys, I don't, we don't need you fighting. I'm your there. boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your boss. You add sir to that. Technically, <laughs> Dara Frank's my boss. <laughs> Why, your boss? Step into my office. Why? Because you're fucking fired. <laughs> it's not six man and abs. Um, you, it's not really, it's not there. I sent it completely. Uh, Jacob, I notice you get gifts for everybody all the time. You're such a good guy. Ryan in Miami, you said you got a gift idea for Jacob. Ooh. Well, I, I wanted it to be a surprise, though. I wanted to see when his birthday was. When's your oh, birthday, Jacob? He'll be very happy. October 16th. October 16th. We'll forget about it <laughs> if you say it now. Over. Oh, I'll remember. Um, by the way, saw the show, man. Really funny. Oh, thanks, man. You watch the used people? Yeah. Yeah, not nine abs. Nine yeah. abs. <laughs> nine abs. Not eight minute abs. Well, thanks, dude. Thanks for watching that. But are you going to tell us what you... Can you please tell us what you want to give them? Uh, all right, fine. I'm, I'm looking to see how much it is to get those full cardboard cutouts. Yeah. I'll let you imagine what it's going to be. Oh, dude. Oh. You're going to get him a fat head? Fun. You can order uh, personalized. Uh, oh. I was thinking more of a stand. Oh, a stand one. Perfect. Like Kelly Kapowski in Saved by the Bell that Zach had under his bed. Exactly. Yeah, I wanted you to tell us what it was going to be because I was worried. I was worried you going to kill and stuff Debbie for him. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I'm into taxidermy down here in Florida. Uh, what, what, one thing at a time, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> if that's the case, should we, we should find out when Ben's birthday is. And then we should have an orange birthday party for him. Oh, my God. Yes. Jacob, can you do that? Can you access some sort of... I'd love to get orange An icing. orange surprise party? Oh, we can have... And then we'll have a... Orange everything. Can we, can we get a stuffed carrot? Is someone to put a stuffed carrot suit carrot on? Cake. Carrot cake, yeah. And have carrot cake and have That'll everything That'll be you. Mark Face, you're going to be the stuffed carrot. <laughs> yeah. We're going to put you... I'm going to put orange bronzer on you so you have, like, a, a orange face. Jacob, we're gonna put yeah, you. You're kind. You're Jacob, a ginger. Jacob, we're gonna dress you up like Debbie in that workout video. We're gonna, oh, put you in like, we're gonna have a themed thing. The really tight thing with the tight leggings and like that. And me and Soda are just gonna both wear full head to toe like uh, orange like sweatshirt sweatpants. The same oh, all the way down. Swacky color. We oh my god. Have to do that. We yeah. have to do that. So you have to find out when Ben's birthday is because they're not across the hall from us tonight because they're out. doing. We are going to have an orange birthday party for Ben. We have to without a doubt. Ben, we look it up on Wikipedia, dude. If it comes down to a Monday, I will be the most excited little boy in the world. Oh my God, that would be so great. If his birthday lands on a Monday. Christine, let me just you're say on the clock. Thing. Stop shoving cake in your face and look up Ben's goddamn birthday. Christine, I should have warned you. What the fuck? I should have warned you. Jay is unbearable to work with. I have gone through body image issues. I cannot sleep at night. Uh, I cut. I'm a cutter now because Jay is just, he just rides me so goddamn hard. I'll throw up two meals a day. By the way, I feel kind of bad because I offered Justin a cupcake and he, he can't eat. Oh, you could tear through this moist cupcake. Yeah, that's actually, no, but that would be a good way to sell Magnolia Bakery. It's like, it's so soft, you can eat it without any teeth. <laughs> Just show them, like, smiling with some mm. frosting. <laughs> oh, can we make them frosting teeth? Oh, that'd be good. Cake teeth? Of all time. Where's the frosting now, Jacob? Now we need frosting, and you didn't get it for us. Yeah, last time you gave us a cookie that was all frosting. How do you... I need a goddamn fork. <laughs> What'd you do with yours? I'm sorry I yelled. Why are you getting so angry? You know what? We have Jay in Virginia since we can't find the audio uh, from our two guests here that maybe Jay in Virginia says he's got something going on. Jay! What's up? What up, dog? We're just having a party here with some cake. 
We're having a real fucking fourth grader birthday party. <laughs> well, Chuck and uh, Christine, congratulations. It's about time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. She's just cramming it in her Let's face. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, uh, my girlfriend and I were out uh, in Virginia last night camping, and we had to get the fire started a little better. Okay. And let's what? just say, when I came, I had to say, crackle, crackle, motherfucker. Oh, you, wait, you fucked in front of a fire, and as you finished, you said, crackle, crackle? That's the first thing I could think of after I nutted. I couldn't help Yeah. It. Did you but, jizz the fire out? That would have been great. I couldn't. I couldn't work up that much. What? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> a video, you know, so we were going to pass that along to you guys. Uh, my girlfriend's into that stuff. She wants to let you know what it looks like in the firelight. Kind of strange, but it turns me on. Did it look good? Well, you guys can be the judge of it. Yay! Send it. Jay, this is like this is like turning into your birthday party. I know. What a celebration! <laughs> Fuck Christine. You you get to officially yell at your girlfriend on air. Two homemade pornos and cake. Yeah, and a guy that whistles when he talks. A guy that whistles while he talks. <laughs> Mostly because of an unfair hereditary disease. <laughs> a guy that lost all his teeth, no fault of his own. By actually one of the sweetest people that I've never wished something that <laughs> terrible on. Um, dude. Uh, yeah, are you sending it to the bonfire at SiriusXM.com right now? Uh, we're driving back, actually, but we can uh, we can get that for you to review before Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. And we will absolutely review homework. it. You know, a little homework. Mm. Cool. Do you have a good, I'm always with a homemade porn, but do you have a quality jizz shot in the video? Well, actually... <laughs> The audio was great because you could hear the fire. It was just like the oh, that's really funny. That's great. That's well, I'll be honest with you. It's probably going to become a drop. Is just the sound of fucking over our, the bonfire sound. We got you a follow up in uh, this morning, actually. Yay! Better video quality. Yeah, Good the audio you. is great in the first one. Um, I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing that tonight. Jacob will be sending that out right. to us. Jacob, you better send it out to us tonight, you son of a bitch. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Jay. Thanks for calling, buddy. Hey, man. Have a good one. Um, I'm going to start telling you this story about this guy now because I, I I think we'll talk for 40 minutes about it. Yeah, I'm afraid we're going to talk too long about it. I'm going to miss my spots tonight. So, the other night. Yeah. I am, where it's last week. Okay. Uh, me, Mike Fenoya, and our friend Rob Mayo. You know Rob. You're Rob Mayo from Canada. Just moved here. Yeah. Uh, officially a New Yorker now from Toronto, Canada. I hope that's all legal. And uh, he moved here, and he's hanging out at the comedy cellar with me, and we're just talking, and some guy walks up. Now, I recall this guy from some time back. I don't know if he's a homeless guy. I didn't think so. He's, he's pretty put together as far as, like, you know, he's wearing shoes and pants and a shirt that, like, you know, match-ish, a baseball hat. Yeah. Shaved. You know what I mean? Has a book bag on. Like, he's not. he doesn't appear homeless in any way or nothing like that. But I remember he used to come be a weirdo and make like uh annoy people at the cellar yeah and they would actually kick him out they would remove him they'd ask him to leave i'm excited to know if i know this guy so he comes up to me the other day and he goes hey he goes he goes are you big jay okerson and i go yeah 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 he goes i'm the jolly cat and i go oh okay i sort of remember you by the way you could also see that he's got the remnants of face paint on that he was wearing earlier that day right just like you know the light faint yeah. like you know or the, the you hues yeah I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, hey man, good to see you. You know, nice to meet you or whatever. I and he goes, he goes, yeah, he goes, I'm a, yeah, I'm a comic too. You know, I do a different kind of thing. You know, but he's like, I'm gonna be at. A, he offers me this. He goes, I'm gonna be at the uh, Stand Comedy Club, uh, March 24th. It's a Thursday. I'm doing the the Big Fat Baby Show. He called it the Big Fat Baby Show, yeah. which is funny. Uh, the show's called Fat Baby. But yeah, he goes the Big Fat Baby Show. I'm doing my thing there and. uh you know, I got a whole thing I do. I got a song I do. It's called Waddle Like a Duck. It's, uh, you know, it's thing I just put together. It's fun. It's funny. It's, yeah, everyone has a good time with it. And, uh, and he seems sort of like, you could tell he's off. Yeah. 
But nothing too bad. You're like, well, yeah, it's a weird thing to offer to ask me to come watch him. But I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, but when people start doing that and there's like this this air of familiarity with you, you're almost like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, there is that. But I, there, but in my mind, I'm like, there's something a little wrong with him. Yeah, so I'm yeah, not yeah. even like, you know, th- you know he, and he leaves. He's like, God bless, whatever, he leaves. Sure. <laughs> he comes back, fi- and we're all kind of laughing at this, you know, f- the waddle like a duck. What the hell is that going to be, possibly? And all this stuff, and we're laughing kind of a little at him, I'd say. But nice enough guy. He comes back almost like me and Fenoya said, like he went in the Mamoons, almost like it was his Superman <laughs> telephone booth. <laughs> he came out now wearing everything the same, but he had on rabbit ears. Okay. And. He's holding his cell phone and he's got a Bluetooth speaker with it. And he goes, "Hey guys, you know what, man? I'll just I'm just gonna play the song for you now. I'm just do it now, so you don't have to worry about you know." Like he really wanted to make sure he, he knew he really wanted to hear it. Yeah. But we, there's a chance we might not be able to make it to a show. Oh. And in a, a gesture of generosity, he wants you to see the product. He came out and sing the song. The lyrics to the song uh, include "Waddle like a duck." Okay. Come on and waddle like a duck, and then it cuts into a. You know you want to waddle. Okay. You know you want to waddle. With that comes a face point at everybody who's agreeing to watch him. And that face point is void of any kind of personal space boundary knowledge. Got it. Very awkward. But if you tell me this is not the most infectious thing you've ever heard in your life, the Bonfire fans, campers, I apologize now (laughs) because... I promise you this will never, ever get out of your head. Please, Jolly Cat. Come on, Waddle. Come on, Waddle, like a duck. Waddle, like a duck. Come on, Waddle, like a duck. Come on, Waddle. Come on, Waddle, like a duck. Waddle, like a duck. Come on, Waddle, like a duck. You know you want a Waddle. You know you want a Waddle. You know you want a Waddle. So, Waddle. Oh, yeah. Now, that is deep in I my started brain. off thinking that he was uh, just a buffoon. Yeah. <sighs> then you realize he was a musical genius. Yeah, it's just... It's a, it's a musical genius, but he's the most pure spirit I've ever met of just wacky. He's only got one thing he does. I shouldn't say one. Waddle like a duck. Yeah. That's his hit. It's a big hit. That's his free bird. And then he's got this noise he makes where he goes, eh, 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 eh. And then he also has a part where he goes, I'm a cat, I'm a cat, I'm a cat, cat, cat. And that's it. It's all variations of that kind of thing. It's kind of like Pink Floyd, The Wall, like every song sort of like the yeah. only no education's beat. So does he, his so, name's the Jolly Cat. The Jolly Cat. And that's how he introduced himself to us. He's bonkers. I love him. I'm yeah. determined to make this guy a star. I think he's the biggest thing in the world. He's got a video on YouTube called, oh, actually, why wow, this became so funny, too. I gave a homeless guy $3 the other day because mm-hmm. he walked up while we were watching that video. After he left, we were watching this video. Me, Fenoya, <laughs> Rob Mayu, and... uh yeah. Christine and a couple of the people were sitting in a circle, and this homeless guy was like, "Hey, man, you guys got to, I got, you got to give us a second, man. We're watching this uh, video right here, and he's watching that Waddle Like a Duck video. And when we're going to tweet it out, when you see it, the homeless guy just points at Fenoy and he goes, "Is that you?" That's- and I was like, "Sir, here's everything I have in my pocket. Yeah, you are goddamn. Here's all my money. That was goddamn hilarious. Waddle like Come a on, Waddle Like a Duck. Is that like a So here, this is just a video somebody took of him on a bus. Could you imagine? You're on a city bus. Your mm. life's already kind of blows. Why this video is great. Hey, sometimes it's sometimes it's the most convenient way to get across town. Yeah. On 79th Street, okay? Why this video is great is because no one is giving him anything. He starts off giving a crazy speech. Okay. And then what you'll notice very quickly is how is he projecting so good on this thing? It's because he's wearing a Britney Spears microphone. <gasps> a Madonna And mic? he's got a fucking speaker around his neck. Bring it. And he's just laying insanity. First, he gives an inspirational speech. You're like, this guy, maybe he's okay. We are in hell. And then he just starts in and just enjoy. I don't even know how much I'll talk over this. This is amazing. Love story. And 
That's YouTube. Oh, pause it, pause it for one second. I'm very sorry. What I'll say, what he keeps promoting here is a wacky love story, a short film he made on uh, YouTube. Okay. That also is the soundtrack for a wacky love story, an 11 minute long short short movie, is in fact his hit Waddle Like a Duck. <gasps> Uh, the, and I'm a cat, I'm a cat, I'm a cat. That's that, uh, in a crazy it, feature, look. it features all three of his songs. He sings like, live. It's kind of a one-scene movie. Here's the thing about Jay, though. He can go find crazy like this in the middle of the street. Now, yeah. does he just observe it and move forward? He no. goes in deep, oh. studies it. Like Way a mar- deep. Like a martial artist. If I had this guy's number, I'd have been tweeting or, or texting back and forth with him already. This guy already is a... Uh... So he's, I mean, I'm watching him on the bus. We're going to tweet the video out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter and also on Snapchat and on Instagram. This video is called The Jolly Cat is Insane. Not taken by the Jolly Cat. This was not him putting out his material. This is Someone, someone learned his name. This is somebody. Oh, he tells you. This is somebody <laughs> on a bus that goes, I, I, I got to fucking film this lunatic. Yeah. And you see a lot of crazy shit in New York. Go so he's promoting a wacky love story on a city bus that nobody wants to hear him talking about this. Do you think I can hire the Jolly Cat to promote to promote used people on Comedy Central? Yes, you can. And- oh, by the way, if you want a little insight into all this, which is great, I should tell you almost after this video. Yeah. When I brought this up on Legion of Skanks, yeah. this is going across all my platforms. Hey, this guy's going to be a star. I, yeah. Um, my brother, of course. By the way, I go. The name's the Jolly Cat. He has this whole thing. And Lewis goes, oh, yeah, I know that guy. I hired him to sell tickets for me back then. <laughs> of course you did. Of course Lewis employed this fucking yeah. derelict. I, uh, yeah, we had a job interview at a pizzeria, and I seemed like a good dude. I go, well, what did he say his name was when he came in to get hired? He goes, the Jolly Cat. I go, you hired a guy named the Jolly Cat. He goes, dude, we hired everybody. <laughs> uh, here's him on the bus. Go ahead. This is Jolly Cat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Now, once again, my quote, if you're in your head, you'll go insane. But if you're out of your mind, you'll be free. So, be out of your mind. Don't always think that life has to make sense. We have to figure things out or rationalize. God's love doesn't make sense, but you can embrace it. Look, pause it, pause it. And go back a couple seconds to the I mean, end. That's a good inspirational he speech. He gives a great speech and then all of a sudden just starts tarred out. It's great. You'll see. Out of nowhere, you're like, you're like, well, it's actually kind of a sweet yeah. thing. He said, and then he just starts snapping and he goes into, he might as well just be. Uh, you remember the scene when Jim Carrey goes, hey, you want to hear the most annoying noise in the world? He yeah. goes, ah! he might as well be doing that to every person on this bus. Oh. Nobody gives this guy a look. No, go ahead. Good. Sorry. Salmon pants. Oh yeah. Wait, turn it up. I'm a jolly jolly cat. I'm a jolly. I'm a jolly. I'm, I'm a jolly jolly cat. Follow us on the Bonfire SXM on Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram. 
it, it, the, the people on the bus are just like, please, God, make this stop. I'm going to get off right here. I know it's the middle of the park. Here's the big, the big, the big flourish. Meow, meow, meow. Meow to meow, meow. Meow to meow, meow. I'm a jolly. Thank you. And as I said, if you're in your head, you'll go insane. But if, if you're, you're out, out of your, your mind, mind, you'll be free. You'll be free. So, be out of your mind. I am the jolly cat. God loves you. He sent the son Jesus to prove it. Thank you for it. Ah, Check you got to murk it up. There you go. You can stop it now. You can stop it now. He What's, said, I have the heart of a child. He does. He's like a special child. That's the Jolly Cat. With the a Jolly hit, Cat I'm is... Cat. Christine, go back. Give me some water like a duck. Yeah, it's the most <laughs> infectious thing ever. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. What? Uh, we got a big thing right here. Lou Dog, you think he stole this. I'm just saying that Waddle song is like a real song. It's a real really? song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called Come Waddle. On. It's called Waddle. It's called Waddle and Justin and Sarah know too. Oh, wait a second. Play the song. Can we do a remix with Jolly Cat? Could you do that? Uh, I could try. Oh, you can remix anything with Jolly Cat. Blue, do we have Jolly Cat in the system? <laughs> <laughs> can you bring up the Waddle song? Or I'm a cat. I'm a cat. I'm a cat, I'm a cat, I'm a cat, 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 I'm a cat, I'm a cat, cat, cat. Are you saying he's a thief? I don't know. It's a copyright infringement, I'm uh, sure. I mean, really, I'm just hearing the word waddle and poor and poorly laid music behind it on both. Well, that's why we're going to do a bonfire uh, actually, remix. In, in fairness, I think uh, Jolly Cat, and I'm being partial here, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, he's your artist. He is my artist. I signed him. Here's Colonel. And uh, <laughs> the Colonel to his Elvis. But I do believe that uh, he is, uh, I don't think he's a thief. I think he's, he, first he did acapella. You got to be impressed by that. That's his pure talent. Yeah. He said he would do an acapella for me. Are you going to get him a record deal? Are you his P. Diddy? I'd like to be. I want this guy. I mean, uh, Christine, give me some water like a duck, God damn it. Come on, water. He's never, come on, I'm never over it. Yeah. Come on. Water like a duck, come on and water like a duck, come on and waddle. You gotta do the P. Diddy, you gotta go, uh. Water like a duck, waddle. Water like a duck, come on and waddle like a duck. Water off a bed. You know you wanna waddle, you know you wanna waddle, you know you wanna waddle, so waddle like a duck. Come on and waddle like a duck. Water like a duck, come on and waddle like a duck. Can you waddle like a duck? Cause I can waddle like a duck. Come on and waddle like a duck. Wait, Christine, go back. Go back when he starts to go, because my favorite, my my favorite impression to do now, my new one is this one. The one where he goes, you know you are the waddle. You know you are the waddle. Like like no. Back further. He does look exactly like Fernando. You know, once we got you on the payroll, you started really shitting on this job. You know what, Christine? I think you're doing a great job, and I just want to stand here and say that this is making me feel very uncomfortable. Oh, uh, we don't have to take these calls, but uh, uh, with Jason and Josh, but both would like us to know, and I'm sorry, Jason and uh, JJ, Let's know that steak and a BJ day. It's, is that what it's called? Steak and a BJ day. You hear something crazy? Is that a real thing? Because for, for a lonely I mean, guy, it's, it's called salad with ranch alone tonight. It sounds like I'm. Uh, it sounds like I've paid these guys to call in or something because it, no bullshit. Tonight I'm making steaks. Christine's on her period. What? It could be, and I've been away for a weekend. It like could be nut. steak and a BJ. <laughs> you gotta say that while you're getting a blowjob. You can melt it like a bottle. I'm gonna be alone tonight, just going in between my firm sleep number and my soft sleep number. <laughs> Hoping to, back and forth. Hoping to trick my body that I'm in the arms of a, of a lover. You're going to fuck the soft side, then roll over on the firm and side? And then go, ah, uh, ah. Uh, just breathe heavy on the firm side? Well, God damn it. Well, Lou, much like a bunch of Midwestern road dog girl comics, has pointed the cheating finger. Dude, real quick. He's pointing the thief finger. Yeah, well, we're going to figure this one out, but I want to get to this. Because this is awesome. Josh and Cape Cod, you and your wife had such a good time at Big J's show in Providence. 
You were rewarded for it? Absolutely. What happened? A, well, we were at a great time at the show, first and foremost. You know, Thank Jay you. is an incredible crowd work guy. Oh, yeah. Chad Best in the biz. Up there in the show. Uh, yeah. Best in the biz. Uh, you know, he just, he, it was Jay, man. He was just like telling her, oh, man, your wife is so beautiful. She's so pretty. She's so nice. Afterward, we go outside. He's standing there. We talk to him a little bit. He's like, hey, you guys want to meet Christine? I'm like, hell yeah, we want to meet Christine. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, we started heading home. We had a great conversation with him. And uh, on the way home, we get get up on the highway. We got like an hour and a half drive. My wife's had a couple of drinks. It's yeah. a really fun night. She looks across the car and goes, wasn't Jay great? I'm like, oh, he was really funny. Wasn't Christine so nice? Like, she was so nice. Do you want Roadhead? Yes. Oh! Good job, Big Jay. Good job, buddy. So great. First off, I Thank just want to say so much, Jay. No problem. When I went back Josh. to the hotel, and Christine aggressively fingered my butthole, <laughs> so everyone got everyone got what they wanted. So everyone's wishes were granted. Do you understand that you've unlocked the the Jay's comedy unlocked the joy of getting sucked off on a major highway and having your butthole <laughs> I'm ex- fingered aggressively. I'm experimenting. I'm girlfriend. experimenting with finding the prostate and see if it's in there. If that works, am, that feeling's weird. You should, man. Give her, you should give. Uh, you should let Christine wear one of those prospector, uh, prospecting helmets. Yeah, while she's doing it. No, she likes to get in there. But I'll tell you what. That she feeling, goes. Ooh, have you ever had the? Board. Have you ever had the finger pressed down? It, it does feel weird. You're like, is, I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. It's, uh, it's it's almost un- no no. I, I've had it happen, but it's, it's it's sort of uncomfortable. And here's the thing, it does feel good enough, and it does feel good enough to finish. Here's what's funny. When it's over, that, you know, that obviously the clearer state of mind of, like, you just came. Yeah. And then she has to pull the wettest finger out of your butt, and then you have to lay there. And then, like, this is the funniest thing is, a- is afterwards, like, putting back on, like, sweatpants and going to smoke a cigarette outside. You're just like, I feel weird. Yeah. It's just when, like, both of us are Especially looking at when- Both of us are looking at each other weird. She's like, like, I feel like she respects me less for letting her do it to me. I'm kind of mad at her for doing it. Well, it's also, it doesn't help that she's walking around with surgery hands. Oh, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. She's keeping her hands up, and she's like, hey, can you, uh, can you kick on that faucet for me real quick? Oh, and yeah. Just yeah. smoking cigarettes with the same two fingers? Yeah, she's like, oh, God, you know what? I just remembered something. These were the fingers that made you squeal. Oh, that turd burglar mm, hand? The smell of Marlboro Ultralights on my fingers. <laughs> yeah, I room. got nicotine stains on my fucking <clears throat> shit shoot. Dude, I can't wait. The next time uh, you orgasm, you have to go, <laughs> Water, come on, water. Come on, water. It's steak and BJ night for Big J. Do you want it on your face? Because I can put it on your face. Come on, water. Come on, like a um, We have to take uh, one more all break. Right, but, before, but before we do, can you're we the one that gave us sugar. This is going to be quick. You got us all wound up. Uh, Steven in California, just you know, if this is a video, it's going to come through before the show's over. I want to see it. Steven. Hey, what's up, gentlemen? What's hey. up, buddy? So. Uh, there's this whole, like, backstory for this. Uh, and my girl and I, we were... We have to make it kind of quick. We have to go to commercial. We wanted yeah. to get this. Yeah, no, no, it was... We were... We weren't living together yet, so we were by her parents' house, and, you know, we were just kind of hanging out, and she started giving me dome, and... Nice. I, <laughs> nice, giving him dome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I covered it with a napkin. Apparently, I got it too tight. So I just busted all the way through the napkin and launched my own load onto my own face. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. Oh. on your own. Fa- <laughs> Where on your own face? I had a goatee, so it was all up in my goatee. Oh, uh, you got f- uh, you got frostbite face. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, on her face because she just you can see it at the end of the video right after it happened. She just kind of looks like oh no, like, it was hilarious. You like Nichols- you like Nicholson at the end of The Shining. When he just froze yeah. in the thing. <laughs> He's got his eyes cross-eyed like, like that, too. <laughs> I'm uh, glad that I realized what was happening. I closed my mouth. Oh, nice. Thank God. You can't have that much salt yeah, in your but, diet. Right. <laughs> but I will, I'll send that uh, in the next couple minutes. The next couple about. minutes? Perfect. We're going to go on break. Yep. When we come back, we'll review it. It's uh, That's Steven, and it's going to be great. It's going to be you shooting a hot load. Uh, make sure it's the bonfire at SiriusXM.com. So much fun. Yeah. Um, we got a few minutes. Why don't we waddle like a duck? It's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I see Lou bobbing his head over there a little bit. Yeah. 
Everyone's feeling Prince today a little bit. We are back with the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Sirius XM 95 844 Comedy 9 The Bonfire at SiriusXM.com The gang is in full force. Uh, we're better than we've ever been. Uh, new edition officially on the books, Christine Evans. Yes! Jacob, Merck, Face, Lou. It's all here. I'm Big Jokerson. That's Dan Soder. Uh, we're doing it. We had a great, great Monday. And we really we had Monday. so much we didn't even get to. And we have so much to so get we got to get to Wednesday, like hanging out with me, hanging out with my grandma, you hanging out with Christine and her great aunt. Oh, that, that was, man, it was so fun. What a funny meeting. We got the, uh, do we have the, the BJ video that just got sent? Well, we have the BJ oh, and we have, at, we have the audio of our looking, guests. You're looking at the girl Sarah. Lower. I have such a crush on that girl. Who? I just saw a hot thumbnail photo. Oh, a thumbnail photo. She's on Fox News. She's like... Christine, turn it around. Wait, Christine, this? turn the screen around! Is this their audio? Oh, it's just the audio. I'm sorry I yelled. Wait, back it up. So we're trying to guess the video before we get out of here of what they're playing in the background. What they're playing in the background. Okay. Campers, we need your help. Go back, start it from the again. I think I can get I get it from the beginning. Hold on. $100. Hold on. But, but how, much, how, how long is the audio? I got it. Okay, Start it again. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the next great magician. I will give one hundred dollars. Tell me how this trick is done. It's almost like you don't want to tell her to shut up. You're like, shut up, I'm trying to guess. Justin, back it down. Well, it's not loud enough. I can't get it. Yeah, the, the movie's got a little low, but I, but what I got is hundred dollars. I, I, I got uh, for a hundred dollars, ladies and gentlemen, for a hundred dollars. I, I am the great something. So you got it. You got a guess? What is it? What is it, Jake? Can you see me? What is it? Can you see me? Now you see me. Now you see me. Oh, the, uh, the magician movie. Yeah. Oh, oh, the magician movie. The magicians that robbed the bank. Uh, that is? I saw that movie. I Shit. You saw it. We were That's... listening to your stand-up <laughs> right like... before it. Were magicians uh, you rob a bank. You're That's great. Jacob, good nail, Jacob. buddy. Thank you. You Jacob deserve, you. Walking you walking deserve to seeing a porn video, dude. Just show yeah, Jacob. He gets to see the video. We don't get to see it because we didn't That's guess right. it. That's right. It's whoever guesses it. That's Jacob, fair. Jacob, you get to I watch the video. Dave Franco's voice anywhere. Oh, uh, do we have a man crush? No, man no, no. crush. I actually you know, dislike him because he's married to the woman. I, I mean, I love Alison Brie. And he's married. And who's married, married to her? Dave Franco? Yeah. James Franco's little brother? Yeah. He's, he's married? married? Allison Brie. Allison Brie. From Community. Yeah. And you're upset about that? Uh, a little bit. Because. What you, I moved on. But. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now you're on Deb. Yeah. Yeah. Just Deb and Cheesecake. Oh, oh really? Yeah, she's she really nice. Good for him. I mean, unless they. Well, Good job. Well, yeah. I can't. It's a file stick. I can't Good for him. Email it. Don't email it. Just show it to Just him on your phone. Just show it to him on your phone. <laughs> there you go, Jake. Hey, Jacob, take a watch. Describe it. If you want to let us watch too, Jacob, yeah, that's cool too. Get over here. Share with your family. Don't kill Christine on her first day officially on the job, dude. She's getting hit. What are you doing? Good for you. Oh, what an erotic twist. It's very sensual. What a sensual home homemade porn. It is sensual. You guys, and by the way, they are in the studio with us, so it's not weird. They're showing this us. And Jacob is. At all. Okay. You guys are getting after What's it. Big deal. We're looking at her pussy, and she's standing right there. On the other side. It gets aggressive. Okay, he's got... Oh, Wait, you want to take, You want to take a bet on Justin's piece? I, I'm just going to watch his uh, his his mouth to vagina action see without gonna, those teeth. See, he's going to... Oh, yeah, he's gumming her up. That's yeah. it. Oh, my God. It's like having a wide mouth bass eat your pussy. <laughs> like a wet vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Remember that trout jumped into the boat and started eating your box? Uh, yeah. Here he goes. All right, I'm going to go Skip over, ahead. Yeah, skip I'm going to go bit. over six. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I'm going to say he's got a long, thinny. Long thinny. Here we go. Oh, she's coming over to be like, what size? I mean, very. that's pretty graphic. <laughs> well, I mean, if, in their defense, I do describe what what the right thing to do is in a porn video. And this was what was playing while the movie was on in the background. Yeah. Jacob, skip ahead a little bit. Jacob's like, hey. we got to get some highlights here, because I think we also have this guy blowing a load through a napkin. 
Oh. And then Jacob gets it. Thanks for calling in. Business. Business. <laughs> Here comes a piece. Just whistle while you work. <laughs> Whoa. Has he got a wallop? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, respectable piece. Good for you, Justin. Good for you, dude. Good for you, dude. Good technique. Hey, well, you lack in teeth. You make them foreign bone, bro. Yeah, God took away your teeth so he could give you all that dick. Yeah, your bone density there is solid. Yeah, it's called Darwinism. He that couldn't have you walk around with sharp teeth and a piece like that. That dick's all fluoride and calcium. <laughs> yeah, all your calcium deposits are right down there in the shaft. Can I give a few seconds to Indian? Oh, is yeah. There, is there a batch? You're, you're a good dude, is Jacob. There a, is there a cum shot in this thing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, was that a knife or yeah, something? Yeah, that was a knife. Holy yeah. shit. Wait, what? Off the Wait, knife. This thing's like a turn. Is this a snuff film? <laughs> Is this the video where you knocked your two teeth out? Yeah. I don't wait. Where's that knife? I don't know if is where, there's a knife involved. Yeah, yeah you just took a, your bra off with a knife. Yeah. Are you what? Are you an are you an old like an old western bad guy? <laughs> yeah, you won't be needing this. Let me get my buck knife out of my yeah, ass. Okay, good for you. Good little reverse, just downward pile driver. <laughs> wait, is he cutting this thing off? I don't. I want to see with the knife because that's gonna scare me. <laughs> Look wow. That's like a Rambo knife. Yeah. John J. Rambo just taking care of business. <laughs> well, listen, he wants to cut off her bra and know which way is northwest. Did he? Did now, he here, look, here's my question. You did you guys it. Did you guys have to determine before the sex that you were going to cut off her bra? So you're not like, hey, you're not mad if you lose this bra. It was a shitty bra. I didn't it was a shitty bra. Like, she <laughs> literally said right <laughs> as we were starting. <laughs> <laughs> whistle. I know, that's so great. She. Damn. She, um, she said it was. You can get it out. Come on. She said. Oh, it sounds like a, it sounds yeah. like a full court basketball game. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I feel like yeah, like he's licking his hands and rubbing the bottom of his feet before he goes on. Hey, All guys. that I got told was, I don't care about this bra. Get rid of it. And you in your head were like, and perfect. My hands, type. My hands were Fuck it. Up. We're having fun. Oh. Yeah. What's that? Is that a butt plug? Yeah. What? Butt plug. There's butt, butt plug, plug action. There's cream pie. There's bond. <laughs> I want you to narrate everything, every point I ever watch ever. <laughs> you know, at that time, I decided to take off her bra with this sweet Rambo. Knife. <laughs> I so, love that you uh, can do the whistle. And do it. I can't do that. So what's uh, insane about it is, uh, I knew she was going to be nervous once. Once, <laughs> once uh, she said she uh, didn't mind the knife. I, Kind of saw it coming. <laughs> yeah, I kind of looked at myself in the mirror and I said, uh, I'm going to cut off that bra with this Rambo knife. <laughs> That is my, that's my favorite thing you've ever done. <laughs> that makes me so... Uh, fuck, that's hilarious. Oh, dude, look at you! Good for you! Get to the batch, Jacob. Uh, we only have three minutes. We got to see this guy blow a load through a napkin. <laughs> this is, by the way, in case you're wondering, if you're one of those people who are like, oh, I thought you guys were going to look at dirty videos or anything. Jay and I have a new agreement. The second hour, it's all, it's that's the filthy hour. So there you go. Six to seven is for you and the kids. Oh, you're tied up. You're in a truck. Yeah. Oh. You guys are in a fuck oh. truck. Whoa. Inside. Whoa. <laughs> Inside batch. Good for you. Cream Looks like an oyster. Pie. Oyster with a pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Quality homemade porn, guys. Good job. Quality. Jacob, you earned that, buddy. Jacob, Every bit did. of it. Good guess. For you. Good guess. Good for you, buddy. Do we get the one the guy shooting the lows? <laughs> you, guys, uh, you guys got that video of me uh, shooting one right through that napkin? Or you guys want to watch me come powerfully? <laughs> Shoot a load right through. I can't. I wish I could do the whistle. Oh, uh, you guys want to watch me bust this, this No. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot a load through this thing. You guys want to watch me shoot this load through this? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you the ability to do that. <laughs> this this makes me so happy. happy. <laughs> Christine, <laughs> did you look at the email? She's so yeah. good. What she's happened? Is there jizz? There. Guys. You guys are really Sam and Di would know. You guys are like a you guys are like abusive Sam and Diane in it right now. I mean, it's, there's a lot of <laughs> you are fucking up my stinking <laughs> BJ night. Yeah, but um, you guys <laughs> come on and waddle. Sorry, it always brings it back around. It's emotional. Waddle like a duck. 
You know you like a waddle. You know you like to waddle. You know you want a waddle. <laughs> You know you want to waddle. You know you want to waddle. <laughs> so waddle. 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 Because I can waddle like a duck. You know the most important, the most important thing of this video, really, is not the message, is that he does in fact look like Mike Fenoya. It's insane. And uh, we have to go, but I will say my, my parting words will be that one of the funniest things I ever heard that night when he came out and and accosted us with his mm -hmm. song was uh, I asked Rob May, who will have Rob on the show at some point, yeah. I'm sure, and. Uh, and he's a very funny guy, very good on radio and podcasts. And, and but after that side of that day, I go, I, I want to have a real conversation. I go, look, we're here, we're kind of laughing at this guy, and I get that. But I'm like, but what is that though? Because he's, like I said before to you, he's like wearing a jacket. Yeah, it's like a homeless guy's jacket. He's like wearing you know, his hat. Even if it was, do you know what I'm saying? There's nothing about him re re reeked of like I sleep on the streets or in Penn Station or a shelter. He seemed like a guy who was like sort of together. Yeah. I go, but he's clearly disconnected from reality. Yeah, like that's nuts to come back and be like, you know, guys, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a song for you now because that's the way the world works. Yeah, and um, and then Rob May is my favorite line. He just goes, he's high functioning something. That's, <laughs> that's really a fun. great sentence. That is, he's high functioning. Whatever he is, he's high functioning. That yeah, he's got the ability to slap it together for a little bit, but then the water starts leaking out of the crack. <laughs> yeah, I think Lewis said that he might be like schizophrenic or something. Oh, okay. Either way, I want him in the studio at some point. And we also have to find a way to get Justin new teeth. Yeah, and Sarah. Through you know, we face. were putting up the thing. If we could find a way, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Mark Face, I assume you're a computer genius who could set up a GoFund uh, and get this yeah. guy some teeth. We got to find out the price. Yeah, we got to. Here's find the thing. Here, look these up if you can, real quick, Christine. Look up high end dentures because he's like, I know a guy in a fucking back alley of somewhere. Yeah, we're not making you go down to no guy. He goes, he goes, he goes for four hundred dollars. I'll give you a teeth. I mean, now four hundred dollars. No, we're gonna get you like. We, we, should, we should shoot for the star, get you a couple thousand dollar teeth. Might as well be chewing nice. You're driving through the heartland of America. Yeah, ripping through. Some... Gnawing on your chick's box with some fancy chompers. Yeah, leave, leave them on her pussy and go, wait, if I'm not there, if I'm up here, who's down there? <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember this? Uh, I'm just, just <laughs> kidding. I'm going to get right back down there. Sorry for scaring you. I just had to put my dentures down there. Uh... <laughs> 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 no, I'll be right back. If there's an episode of the show where you don't do that, yeah. now I'm going to be upset. Oh, well, don't worry about me. It's my dentures <laughs> down there on your pussy. So uh, I'll be right back. If you do for every S word, <laughs> that makes me so happy. Oh, uh, we do have to go. I thought it was 7.50. No, Fuck. it is that time. Yeah, you have a, you have a spot to I do. got a spot at Dan Soder on Twitter. Uh, used people. On ComedyCentral.com, it's Michelle Wolf and I's web series. Please go watch it, and if you like it, tweet it out and that kind of stuff. Brokerage, I will be at the Brokerage Comedy Club in Belmore, Long Island, this Friday. Then on Saturday, I will be at McGuire's in Bohemia. DanSoda.com for ticket information. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, at Big J Okerson on Twitter. Where are you at this weekend? Uh, this weekend, I'm doing a benefit in Philly. That's it. And then I got some spots. Just I'm local. I'm local okay. to stay in the cellar. Um, we're putting out. Looks like that. You see these high end dentures between one and five thousand dollars. So let's just set it at five. Let's see if we can set it, it at happen. five. Let's try to get you some new teeth, Justin. We're gonna try to get you new teeth for giving um, us that video. Justin listens to every episode, man. He drives a truck and uh, he loves the show. And they they left their truck today in Jersey and and, and traveled into Manhattan just to come see the show. So. Thank you two for coming in. Thank you to our newest member of the Bonfire crew, Christine, official. Yeah, it's official. We had a cake party. As always, Jacob, Andy, Lou, we all love you, and campers. We all know this isn't the kind of party Christine's used to celebrating with, we'll judging always. by her crack corner stories. We'll you remember have, that. Yeah, we'll have more crack corner stories coming you up. You guys want to blow some rails when this is over? Yeah. Uh, I'm excited already for Wednesday, buddy. I got a zillion more things to talk to you about, and we'll as always. Yeah, we'll see you Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, only on Comedy Central Radio. It's the Bonfire. Crackle, crackle.